Okay, in the last video, we just set up our environment in which we can do our HTML. This was called REPL, and you should have three columns on the screen. And over here, you should have an index HTML file. It should look like that. I've made the text a little bit bigger here so you can see it. I've got an images folder inside there, the Shackleton icon.jpg, and then the Shackleton text here, which we uploaded. Our first job, go to Shackleton HTML, uh, Shackleton.txt. I'm going to copy, control C, this text, hit the index, and I'm, I think I'm going to put it between the body and the script, and I'm going to run the script right at the end. Okay, so I've made a little room between the body and the script, and I've pasted my text in. Okay, so now you should be able to see that that text is in there, and if I run this, okay, I'm hoping that that text all right, will now show in that our screen up sometimes it just takes a little while to save and render and I'll just give it a second to do that here it goes okay and we press run and the text should appear quite nicely in the corner there okay now we can see that we press run and the there it is, the text is rendered. Good. That's excellent. You might have noticed just a little change there. I'll just put that little forward slash in title. If you take that out, it thinks that's all the title and it doesn't know where the end is. Okay, so that was a slight mistake I made. There we go. So we've now got our text in there, but we've got no HTML tags in here. Okay, so I want to make this top one an H2 tag. So I type in these square brackets, as you can see. Okay. And then when I run this now, Shackleton is my first heading. So that's all very well. Okay, and you'll notice that um, I've got Shackleton here. I've slightly misspelt it as well. There we are. So that's all working nicely now. And then when you paste this into a web browser, then it's Shackleton up here at the top of the page as well. Okay, so what do I do next? Well, the next thing is to try and put an image in. And this can cause a bit of a problem. Open angle brackets, IMG. Now be careful here, SRC, that's source equals, and then these double quotes. You can see I've put double quotes in there, and I want this Shackleton icon, but it's in the folder images. It's really important that this text matches that. So I'm gonna start with images, small i, notice, for me, and then slash, that's the folder name, and then very carefully, Shackleton icon dot jpg okay and then the close tag then alt equals a picture of Ernest Shackleton this is for those people who might be visually impaired okay and then don't forget forward slash angle bracket that closes the image now, if I've got this path right, the image will appear. Let's have a look. Yes. If I've got this path wrong, for example, capital I, images, run, no picture. Okay? So you have to make sure that if you've got this folder images and Shackleton icon is in there with the right name, this path will be correct and your picture will appear. Okay. What else do we need? Well, we've got some bullet points. So, UL is the tag, that's an unordered list. And then I want an unordered list to finish, forward slash UL. So remember, in HTML, no forward slash is the beginning of a tag. The forward slash UL is the end of the tag. Okay, and now each of these are list items. So I've got a list item there and end list item there. See the difference between the tags, yeah? Opening tag. I'm going to copy and paste it at the beginning of each of those, okay, and then paste the end tag at the end of those. Right, you can't be inaccurate with this stuff. You've got to have the angle bracket brackets, they've got to close, and you've got to have the forward slash. Then you will get, there we have it, our list with bullet points, so that's unordered. If we did OL, we'd actually get numbers in there, ordered list. What's next? Shackleton, H3. Okay, so he needs to be heading 3. Slightly smaller than H2. Okay, but we've got it. 
big title, picture, bullet point, small title. Now, each of these are paragraphs. So, paragraph starts here, paragraph starts here, and paragraph starts here. Whoops, not there. Make sure you've got to be very accurate with this stuff. Try once again, so if we move it up a bit. There we are, into there. Can I just select it? There we are. Okay, then at the end of those paragraphs, we have forward slash P. Okay. And forward slash P and forward slash P. There we go. Okay, so they should now be split into three separate paragraphs. And look, over here, yes, they are. Good. So what's next then? Well, I think the final thing after that is to convert this into a link, Ernest Shackleton. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in an A here. That's what I do. It's called an anchor tag, and then put the end of that link in here so I remember. Okay, so I put the first tag here and the end tag there. When I run it, okay, you don't see anything. Why? Because I need to say where it's linked to. So inside, here it is, inside this, after the A, but before the end bracket, I'm going to set an attribute href equals then h t t p s colon slash wikipedia whatever the whatever the link will be okay so there it is that's not going to work but you will be able to run it and see there there's a link and that link will link to this page some of you may want to do target equals underscore blank and on the real page that would open this on a new page or in a new tab okay phew that's a bit of a roller coaster ride worth checking that all this works and that you've got the titles correct the bullet point the pictures there and if not review this video let's just now see if this marks in the marking engine Okay, so I'm in Learn Informatics. I've gone down to here. I've got my HTML. I'm going to click on Test. And then here, I'm going to enter my code. So back to my Shackleton rep. Control A in this selects them all. Control C copies. I go to Learn Informatics, press it in, and submit the code. Hey presto, job done. There we go. So your REPL should now look like that and have been marked on Learn Informatics. Let's get on to some CSS in the next section.